Hey everyone, it's Rhino. I had uh, an interesting idea about starting sort of a virtual book club that I could do through YouTube here. Um, what I think I'm going to do is post two videos. There's going to be one video where I tell you what the book I'm about to start reading is, and then the second video will be kind of, when I'm done, uh, the breakdown, I guess, and the review or just my thoughts and opinions. Sometimes I hate using the word review, though, because I feel like I'm not an expert on it, so I don't want to say whatever. I just I, I, I prefer like thoughts and feelings and and whatnot. So I thought this could be fun because um, I have no idea one how long it'll take me to read whatever book I select, and then also I you know it could end up taking like a week. It could end up taking uh, a month, you know, and uh, it allows uh, you plenty of time to grab the book and maybe read it, and so we can we can all. Uh, talk about it together at the end. So maybe we could do uh, something fun, something fun there with the second video. I don't know. This is the first time I'm trying this, so uh, we'll see what happens, though. But uh, maybe we could have like a, a premiere party and like all chat about it or something. But and I don't know. We'll see. We'll get there. We'll get there together. But I thought for the first book, um, up my uh, a good friend of mine, Kylie Williams. You may know her. You may have heard of her. Um, she got me for a birthday gift. She got me. Over the Top by Jonathan Van Ness. So uh, Kylie and I uh, have both enjoyed watching Queer Eye on Netflix. Uh, this is the reboot of the uh, original series that used to be on uh, Bravo or E? I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, so this is a, every pretty much every one of the guys on the show now has a has a book out, and uh, we always we kind of right away enjoy Jonathan's uh, over the top personality, as the book is called Over the Top. So uh, she actually got me this fun signed copy. Uh, I don't know if you can. See. Oh, I've opened it to a blank page. Ba -da -da! So that was cool. Um, so I've been I've been it's been sitting on my. Uh, my stand up in my office up here for a, a while now and I thought you know what what better time uh, what what better time to get started than now and also do it for this video so then I'll feel accountable right so sometimes I drag my feet on some stuff and if I'm held accountable for it then I feel like I am more likely to get it done so um, this book uh, you can definitely find on Amazon I double checked um, you can uh, also do the Audible version if you want, or the audiobook, um, which is on Audible if you are a member of that. Uh, and that is actually read by Jonathan, too. So I think that would be an interesting journey uh, to go on, too. So that might be one of those things where, well, I'm going to read the book because she gave me the, she gave me the book. But um, I do always enjoy when the author reads the book. If you haven't ever listened to Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, I always recommend um listening to that audiobook not over reading the book but I, I think you should have both but i have listened to that book so many times because for me it runs like a comedy album and i have yet to find another book like that uh, another audiobook like that so that's worth checking out but right now we're talking about over the top uh, a raw journey to self-love by jonathan van ness this book is fairly new still i feel like it came out at the end of 2019 um it goes uh, you can probably find it for uh, under well, it says $27.99 on the cover price, but I think you can find it under that at this point since it's been out just a little bit long enough. It's not it's not overly long. I feel like it looks uh, a little more a little more than involved than it is. It's a 263 pages, but uh, the writing is you know kind of the font's big and there's a good amount of space in here, so nothing too too um, too overwhelming. And I am not a big um, autobiography reader usually i think it kind of depends on who the person is like i like i said I've, I've done bossy pants by tina fey i've done um uh i think it's oh my gosh it might be called yes please it was the um amy poehler uh her book as well um which was a good read and um i started neil patrick harris's but I was listening to the audiobook of that, and his is set up like a choose your own adventure, which is really interesting. But that I think plays better as the book than the audiobook. So that was a that was a challenge for me. But um, I, I do these on like long car rides and stuff. But since I'm stuck at home for the foreseeable future, I, I need to start reading more. I got a ton of books out here. So um, so this is going to be book number one. Check it out. Read along with me. Um, we can chat about it either, um, you know, on Twitter, Instagram, if you want to DM me questions about it, anything like that. It's Rhino, R-Y-N-O, 1185. Um, 
and uh, I'm, I'm I'll let everyone know I maybe when I'm getting like close to finishing it, but um, I'll I'll give you my thoughts and everything like that. So maybe if you uh, see the second video before this first video, and you're one of those people that you want to know ahead of time whether I think oh it was worth reading or not, then maybe you can watch that video. But I thought this would be a fun journey that we could all take together in this time. So this is book number one in the uh, in book club on my YouTube channel, and uh, we'll see we'll see what the future holds. But thank you everybody for uh, watching and listening to me ramble, and thank you everyone for uh, taking this journey uh, with me. And I I honestly I really look forward to uh, how this is going to come out. So fingers crossed, everyone enjoy the read. Um, I hope to enjoy it as well, and I'll see you next time with uh, my thoughts and feelings on Over the Top: A, a Raw Journey of Self Love by Jonathan Van Ness. Bye everyone.